Hola. Here to do a pick a card reading, guys. Today, the question is, who's thinking of you? Once again, we're asking the question, who's thinking of you? We will do an extended read on this, but we will take a deeper dive into the overview. We will ask, will they act on these thoughts? We'll also ask, what's their next move? So, keep in mind this is a general reading. May not resonate with everyone. Should it resonate with you, please like, share, subscribe to the channel, and leave your comments. Give me that thumbs up, because you too be tripping, tripping, man. If it doesn't fit, don't force it. If it doesn't fit, let it fly. If it doesn't fit, you must acquit. Take the bits and pieces that resonate with you. Leave everything else on the dance floor and moonwalk your job ass on away from it. If you'd like to get a personal reading with me, you can do so by following all the links down below. If you're interested in getting a life coaching session with me because I am a certified professional life coach, meaning I went to school to study the art of life coaching, just didn't stamp those initials on the back of my name. You can find that information down below. If you're interested in about 80% of the decks that I use on this channel, you can find them linked down below in a list titled, These Are a Few of My Favorite Things. And if you would like to donate to the channel in any type of way, my Cash App, GoFundMe, and everything else is found down below. So, we have three choices before us today. Choice number one is going to be Quality Time. Y'all remember that song, Quality Time With You, Old School. Choice number two is going to be breakups and makeups. Ex-girlfriend, how you been? Okay. And choice number three is going to be connection. I ain't got no song for this. So we have quality time. We have breakups and makeups. And we have connection. On the count of three, we're going to take our deep breath. One, two, three. Pick your card. Is it going to be quality time? Is it going to be breakups to makeups? Or is it going to be connection? All right, universe. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, all right, all right. All right, so before I get started, guys, please go follow my new channel. It is called The Braveheart Experience Tarot. I will not be posting for the time being. I will not be posting full readings on this channel. So go follow the Braveheart Experience Tarot, please. Braveheart Experience Tarot, okay? This will probably be the last little reading I post on this channel. The Braveheart Experience Tarot, please go follow it. All right, universe, who is thinking of them? The people who chose quality time, who is thinking of ooh, them? Knight of Wands. We have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Who is thinking of them? We have the Chariot. People who chose quality time, universe, who is thinking of them? We have the Six of Pentacles. Who is thinking of them, universe? We have the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Two of Pentacles. A lot of Pentacles. We have the Ten of Wands. And we have the Hermit card. Bottom of the deck, we have the nine of wands. So the person who's thinking about you is somebody who can be a little immature. This is somebody who is really good looking, somebody who is very popular, somebody who might lift weights as well. Um, this might be somebody whose favorite movie is 300 or they like love like the Spartan era or like medieval times or something like this. But this is somebody who focuses on the past a lot. This person is like looking at their past. This is somebody who focus on, focus, focuses on their past a lot and is afraid to move forward. So this is somebody who is not quite available. Somebody who cracks a lot of jokes, who you have a good time with, who you have a lot of communication with. It seems like you guys are on an even keel, that you guys 
really just fit and mesh really well with one another. But this is somebody who's easily spooked, period. This is somebody, it's like, as long as you don't mention relationships or call, you know, label this connection or anything like this, as long as you just flow with whatever it is they want to do, this person is fine. But the moment you do any little thing, this person gets spooked. And I feel like you want to work together with this person. You find like a sweetness between you and this person. There's something that you like to ground between you and this person. But this person is like almost caught between two worlds and is burdened big time with something they won't share with you. Something that this person could have some mental health issues. This person could have like some medical issues. Um, this person might hold a lot of their tension up in their shoulders, or this person could have even been like in a car wreck or something. I just feel like this person has a lot of mental issues that keep them from moving forward. Some, so something happened to this person in the past where they hurt themselves and they didn't heal properly, as we see here in this nine of wands. This person didn't heal properly. There was a lack of transformation. This person was met with a lesson, but didn't move forward right like didn't get the lesson and so you are showing up in this person's life and this person is showing up in your life as a form of a lesson for you to get and apply so i feel like you may be a little bit ahead of this person where you're supposed to apply some knowledge that you've learned and this person is supposed to from you applying the knowledge from a lesson that you've learned in the past this person is supposed to receive a lesson and i feel like that's why you guys are in each other's life you know there are no levels to this right but you are more mature than this person you're probably more financially um stable than this person this person may ask to borrow money from you or you may just freely give it to this person because you adore them but i would be uh, cautious of this person very much aware of this person because this person is a taker this is somebody who just takes and takes and takes and i feel like they do it like on default it's not something where this person is like malicious maliciously out to get anybody but this person is a taker and then they fall into a funk they might fall into a depression um if they're sick or ill or something like that they might kind of play that victim card um because this person does intrinsically feel like an invalid this person feels like they can't do things on their own this person feels like they need assistance, they need help, that they're like a classic fuck up, quite honestly. And so this person pulls away from you quite a bit. So you may go like long periods of time where you don't hear from this person or this person just falls off the face of the earth or they just ghost you or something like that. And they come back with all these cockamamie stories. Um, it's like this person jumps from here to here, to here, to here, to here, to here. And then they go into solitude, they isolate themselves to try to feel better about themselves, to put these broken pieces back together again. We got the death card underneath here. So there's definitely a transformation that they are refusing to embark upon. King of Pentacles back here. It's like this person is, is appearing to be this king, but they're really not. This person is very temporary. This person is very flighty. This person has like, they come through with a lot of passion and it fizzles out and then they disappear, they isolate and then they come back around with that same passion. And it's just like, oh, I got a new job or I got a new this or I did a new that or I climbed Mount Everest. It's like this, this person has um, delusions of grandeur. Like this person wants to live this extraordinary life without putting in any work. And... I feel like that keeps them from moving forward. Whereas you're very grounded. You're, you may have met this person when you were, you moved to a new town or started a new job or we're just getting like the footing back under yourself as well. Like you may have met this person when you were really trying to build a foundation for yourself or starting over some kind of way. And this person, um, unless I see something different in the extended, I just see like this person you needing to see this person for who they are and not their potential and that is the lesson that you have to apply if this person is showing you red flags which i see that they are you got to stop it in its tracks and you got to stop painting those red flags green because they're not they're red right um this person has healing to do and if they don't choose to do that healing if they don't choose to go through this transformation that's been beckoning um, for them to like 
cross its thresholds for forever. This person is going to keep you stuck in a cycle. And this person is going to waste your time. So stop seeing this person through rose-colored glasses. Stop looking at this person as if there's something that they're not. I'm not saying that this is a horrible person, but what I'm saying is that what this person is able to give you and what you may be wanting from this person are two different things. So you showing your showing up for this person and um overextending yourself and just wanting to be there everything so that they they feel the love that you may have been missing once upon a time in your life you know that they feel like they have somebody that they can depend upon that they can confide in that they can trust that will be loyal to them you're not in a man they are not ike so you ain't got to eat the damn cake right like see this person for their truth and then make a decision based upon their truth rather than their potential but this, I mean, this is somebody that you get along great with. You guys have a grand relationship when things are good, but like when things are bad, it leaves you in a, in a state of dismay. You don't know where you are. You don't know what's happening. You don't know why it's happening. You don't know if you did something and it causes you to question yourself. And so this connection is to help you solidify your confidence and to help this person to solidify theirs as well, but in two different ways. You're applying the lesson and you're kind of calling a spade a spade and this person is supposed to receive the lesson and then embark upon this change and actually heal like they're supposed to and i just feel like right now this person is doing what you are allowing them to do which is come around you when they feel like it when they want to when they have time when they make themselves available and then disappearing at the same time whenever they want to when they don't feel like being bothered they just disappear and never give you an explanation i feel like this person never apologizes i don't feel like this is narcissistic i feel like this person has um huge burdens upon them and i feel like this person may have some mental health issues as well that causes this person to go into some darkness a funk some sadness depression um there's a lot going on behind the scenes of this person's life and this person continues to show up putting on this facade instead of removing those branches those wands that ten of wands you know one by one and actually dealing with those problems this person just like is a collector of problems it's always something with this person this person always has something going on always has a story always has you know somebody that they're supposed to show up for somebody that they're supposed to be there for um but they're not working through those issues and they'll do the same thing to you one day this person just won't come back and then they'll have issues with you and you'll be the 11th one this person this person right now is like in quicksand and has no intentions of reaching the ace of wands this person has collected all these wands to be a victim of life i don't know how else to say that and so this quality time will soon turn into a waste of time. Now, we're gonna do an extended read on this. We're gonna take a deeper dive into this overview. I'll pull some clarifiers. We're gonna ask, will they act on their thoughts? And we'll also ask, what's their next move? Now in the extended, all this can go to hell. And this person can be the best person in, on earth. This person can go through their transformation and everything could change. Or it can stay the same. I don't know. All I know is I'm going to pull a lot of cards. So if you like to join me over in the extended, the link is down below. If you want to get a personal reading with me, you can find that information down below as well. You don't want to follow me anywhere because you know my crazy ass is lost too. You ain't gotta. Go and follow my new page though, the Braveheart Experience Tarot. Because I won't be posting here. And if you already follow, thank you. If you haven't, go do it. And stay down y'all. It's a marathon. Number twos, number twos. All right, universe. Breakups to makeups. Y'all Ben Affleck face ass. Okay. Universe. Who is thinking of them? People who chose breakups to makeups. Who's thinking of them, universe? Who is thinking of them, universe? People who chose breakups to makeups. Who is thinking of them? We have the Queen of Coins. 
we have the Knight of Cups in reverse. Whoa. We have oh, the Six of Coins in reverse. Breakups to makeups. Who is thinking of them, universe? We, ooh, we have the Two of Cups. We have the Nine of Swords. We have the Queen of Cups. We have the Six of Wands. And we have the Two of Coins. Bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Wands. So this is somebody that you definitely broke up from or broke up with. Um... Okay, so the person who's thinking about you is somebody who feels that you gave them everything and they gave you nothing in return. I feel like um, this person may have chosen a job or another situation or like themselves over you. It's just this person made a choice that you were not a priority and were not going to be. And I feel like you gave a lot to this person. I feel like you had a lot to give and you like shared it with this person. So this may have been somebody who you moved in with you. This may have been somebody that you gave money to. This may have been somebody that you gifted a lot of presents with. And I feel like this person focused upon the past quite a bit. So maybe this person didn't allow you to, didn't allow this connection to grow. Like they self-sabotaged by always nitpicking or always saying something was wrong. Or remember when you did that? And it was like stupid stuff. And that was this person's way of making sure like nothing happened because to an extent, this person felt like you were too good to be true. And it's almost as if this person wanted to get you before you got them. This person and you come from two very different upbringings. Um, I feel like this person is more so very cold, um, hardcore, very masculine, very action driven, whereas you're very emotional, empathetic, um, loving, kind, nurturing, that kind of thing. And I, I feel like this person caused you um, very quickly. I feel like this person caused you a lot of conflict. I feel like this person brought about um, some depression, some sadness, may have made you like this person feels like um they wanted to one up you it's almost like like i said this person wanted to get you before you got them but this person wanted to like get you so that nobody else could get you like that so this might have been who you deemed to be like the love of your life or somebody who you really cared about or really thought you were going to spend your life with and this person did a lot to sabotage this connection and caused you all to not grow. It stunted the growth of this connection. And so I think this person left you for dead in a sense. Um, this card is breakups to makeups is the number 27, which is nine. And nine is a completion of a cycle. I feel like this person may have drained you financially, drained your time, drained your mental capacities. Like I feel like um things of value tangible things this person drained you of and thought that they had did a number on you to where you wouldn't be able to bounce back you wouldn't be able to love again but this person didn't quote unquote win so to speak this person's efforts to cause you to be like the old woman who lived in a shoe who had so many children she ain't know what to do like this person wanted you to like disappear from life and be ugly and not nobody wants you and you could never love again and you could never get over them. Like this person really seriously left you for dead. And this person is thinking about returning because they like, how did they survive that? How did they just survive that? This is very narcissistic. You know, if you haven't heard from this person in a while, you know, narcissists like to put time in between their last wrongdoing, hopefully you'll forget. They come back around, they say something funny, and then they come back into your life, love bomb you, and start the cycle all over again, but it's way worse this time, right? I feel like what you went through this last time with this person 
was was it almost may have killed you on a soul level right and i think that was this person's intent this person intended to harm you to the point where you would not be able to love again this person wanted to steal your beauty and all the good things about you i mean look at how this two of cups dude is looking at this girl it's just like why the fuck do you even like me why are you so kind why are you so loving why are we sitting in like a, a meadow of roses how did you even fucking find this shit like what who are you and it's like this person came across really strong really loving really romantic in the beginning but that quickly turned and this person started like nitpicking at you and making you feel like something was wrong with you and just like ripping it just all of a sudden took all of that energy away all the loving doting caring nurturing seemingly loving energy away from you and left you for dead destitute sad depressed lonely isolated wondering what the fuck just happened maybe you know you didn't feel beautiful anymore maybe you didn't feel nurturing and caring anymore I, I feel like you went through a very dark period in life but you resurrected yourself and instead of them getting over on you you came back with more love more light more hope more radiance and they're like what the fuck and then you're sitting here bandaged and you hear them calling you who you who and here they come back king of cups why you sitting here single minding your business this person coming back king of cups with that shady mentality so the person who's thinking about you is a narcissist who wants to come back into your life because they realize that they didn't destroy you and so now they're gonna amp it up you know new level unlocked and you unlock the new level because you didn't all that shit that they put you through all the shit that they did to you all that they used to harm you all that they did to sabotage this and they still didn't take you down so imagine what they did to you last time i don't think that you're foolish enough to allow them back in this time i wouldn't even say hello to this person however imagine what they did to you last time now think about what they're gonna do this time new level unlocked if that didn't take you out last time oh they really got something in store for you this time so we're going to do an extended read on this. Keep in mind, in the extended, all of this can change. This can become an angel. I don't know how, but it can. So if you'd like to join me over in the extended, you can find that link down below. Please go follow the Braveheart Experience Tarot because that's where I will be posting all of my readings. Um, in the extended, we're going to ask, we're going to take a deeper dive into the overview. We'll ask, will they act on their thoughts? Then we'll also ask, what's their next move because they are definitely trying to figure something out right here um this is somebody who like when they're not around you or not out in society like this person doesn't bathe like this is a true narcissist this person just sits in a house thinking about like i'm low on money it's been two years i wonder if such and such is available i should reach out how should i do it Hmm. Yeah. Oh, riddle me this face ass. So if you want to get a personal reading with me, you can do so by following the links down below. If you'd like to get a life coaching session with me, follow the links down below. If you don't want to follow me nowhere, you ain't gotta just stay down, y'all. It's a marathon. Alrighty. And now we're going to do Number three, would it be? Number three, would it be? All right, universe, people who chose connection. Yeah. Got to get another deck. All right, universe, people who chose connection, who is thinking about them? People who chose connection. Who is thinking about them, universe? Guys, please go follow my new channel, The Braveheart Experience Tarot. That's where I will be posting all my readings. 
when I post. I will not be posting here, so please go follow. Braveheart Experience Tarot. Who is thinking of them, universe? People who chose connection, who is thinking of them? Justice. Knight of Cups. I've seen a Knight of Cups a lot today. Who is thinking of them, universe? We have the Knight of Diamonds. Who is thinking of them? We have the Eight of Crystals. We have the Six of Swords. Who is thinking of them, universe? Uh-oh. Who is thinking of them? We have the Magician. We have the Queen of Cups. And we have the Queen of Diamonds in reverse. Bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Diamonds. <laughs> Who is thinking of you? So, some of you all have multiple people thinking about you. Um, and it could be same-sex relationships. Um... Some of you all have three people thinking about you. The story that's most prominent right here, though, is that um, somebody, the person who's thinking about you was somebody who was brought into your life, somebody that you manifested. It was a conscious act, um, uh, action, a conscious action. Um, this is somebody who came into your life very sweet, very kind, very endearing, I feel. Um, but I feel like the more that this person moved towards you, the more that this person was drawn towards you, I feel like the more this person slowed down. I feel like there was a lot of speed in the beginning and then something started changing. And I feel like this person um, shifted some kind of way. But I feel like that shift is only temporary. That this person, like maybe this person moved away from you or maybe this person is like overseas or in the military or something like that. I feel like something, um, something took this person away from you that has a lot of value to this person or offers a lot of value into this person's life. And so I feel like this person couldn't really be, um, couldn't like something happened to where you guys could not amplify the initial feeling something changed in this connection the card itself is 41 41 breaks down to five five is a number of liberation freedom and change so i feel like there was a sense that this person was liberated in some kind of way from this connection and so were you something happened in you all's life because this is two different the top row and the bottom row are two different timelines something happened into your life where things just kind of changed and I feel like you may have been further along in your professional career than this person. Um, and I think that something may have happened in your career as well. Um, some of you all have children, but I just feel like you might've manifested a different path that took you off course from this person and this person may have done the same thing. So your paths were connected and then they separated. And I feel like you had to come back into alignment with yourself Maybe your focus used to be on career and now it's not so much. Maybe now you're you're more focused on things that you're in love with, things that set your heart on fire, things that set you free, things that offer you um, the opportunity to be more yourself. I still feel that there's a very karmic connection here, though. I still feel like you all are drawn to one another. I just feel like temporarily you all kind of went in your separate directions went in off into two different directions something happened professionally or something happened that mattered to you 
Um, but I just, I feel like it's for a limited time, for a temporary time. I don't feel like it, this is a, a separation of forever. So... That's who's thinking about you. Um, this story is so broken up. It's it's kind of sick how broken up it is. But yeah, and the person who is thinking about you could be somebody who's separated or divorced or going through a divorce right now where things slow down for them and then they're shifting. It's, it's all going to shift very quickly. But I think all the twists and turns that happen in this person's life are happening very quickly. It's like they move with um, a steady pace and then it slows down and then everything speeds up quite fast. And I feel like you may have shifted. You moved away as well. But I just feel like you guys are just headed back towards each other. Like it's like you're going all the way around the world just to come back to where you started. Because... These two cards, if I bring these two cards here because they were first, right? And put this one here, y'all are running into each other. So I definitely feel like there's there's more destiny that hasn't played out yet. There's something else that's going to bring you all back into each other's atmosphere. Now, what happens from there, I don't know. But I think that um, this separation of sorts... Because I feel like it's only a physical separation. This separation of sorts is in your world to set you all free. Nine of diamonds down here. Yeah. And I don't think that you like it. And then here's the king of swords. So yeah, there's a separation of sorts. This person, like I said earlier, could be going through a divorce or something. But I think that this separation is hard. Like you all don't want, to, like you want to rush back to each other. That eight of wands in between you all. But I also feel like this person feels that um, if this person was with somebody else or is going through a divorce or another type of separation with someone else, I feel like this person feels that they are more in alignment with you and they're realizing that they love you. And that you have their heart. This could also be somebody that you've known from way back when, too. Like you could have known you could have known this person since childhood or something like that. Um, and it very well could be that you moved away at childhood or like your lives went in separate directions, and now you guys, some kind of way, you guys are coming back to in each other's life. Some kind of way you're gonna come back around and and maybe this is somebody that you just um got back in contact with after quite a while or something like that it's very much a theme of like uh forbidden love or lost love or long live love or something like that i really need clarifiers to get through this though because this is a a weird situation and I feel like there's not a lot of backstory to it which is why I can't really flow with this one because I don't I'm not sure like a lot happened in the past I think I think there's a lot on the horizon but I think that there was a sudden stop a sudden slow down of the energy but I mean you're one way or another you're on this person's mind. You're drawing this person in. Um, it's just this person has something else going on that slowed them down and took them off course towards you. Because I really feel like this is a situation where you all had an opportunity to do something prior and you didn't. And now it's coming back around. That's the best I can do. So that's who's thinking about you. But... This is going to be one of those extendeds that tell the whole story. So I really don't know where this one is going. But if you'd like to follow me, the link is down below. Um, if you are interested in getting a personal reading with me, you can find that information down below. If you don't want to follow follow my new channel, The Braveheart Experience Tarot. But if you don't want to follow me, know where you ain't got them.
Stay down, y'all. It's a marathon.